The solid part of the Earth is dynamically active and drives the long-term geological processes we see at Earth's surface, such as the building of mountain ranges, continental drift, earthquakes and volcanoes. The solid Earth interacts with the atmosphere and oceans. For example, volcanoes release gases into the atmosphere. Much of the carbon dioxide that used to be in Earth's atmosphere billions of years ago has been removed by the burial and compaction of organic matter into rocks and fossil fuels. Another example is the slow drift of the continent, which influences oceanic and atmospheric circulation patterns and has also influenced the evolution of life. These processes occur because of plate tectonics, in which the stiff outer layer of the Earth is broken into about 13 different plates that move relative to each other at several centimeters per year. Earthquakes and volcanoes occur mostly at the boundaries between these plates. And when continents collide at plate boundaries, huge mountain ranges like the Himalayas can be thrust up. To understand what drives all this activity, we need to study the solid interior of the Earth, which is made of rock and stretches from the crust which is tens of kilometers thick, to the base of the mantle, which is almost 3,000 kilometers beneath our feet. The mantle is very hot and so is able to, to flow like putty and therefore able to uh, convect, rather like soup in a saucepan. This mantle convection is what drives plate tectonics. In fact, we can think of plate tectonics as a part of mantle convection. Oceanic plates spread apart at mid-ocean ridges where new crust is formed. As the oceanic plates move away from the ridge, they cool and thicken and ultimately re-enter the mantle at subduction zones, then sinking to the bottom of the mantle. Hot upwelling plumes may also rise from the base of the mantle, causing chains of volcanoes at the Earth's surface, such as the Hawaiian island chain. Although the general picture is known, scientists are still working to unravel key questions. Two issues that I'm working on are firstly, what causes weak plate boundaries to form, since similar planets like Mars and Venus don't have plate tectonics at all, and secondly, how has the mantle's chemical structure evolved over time, since geochemical analyses of volcanic rocks at Earth's surface indicate the presence of several chemically distinct reservoirs in the Earth's interior.